I applied for a job four years ago and it was a blockchain job. It's a real story. And they were basically interviewing me and I always have a good confidence when going into an uh, interviewing job because of the secret technique I'm always using. And this is not a sales pitch or something or some kind of a uh, scuffed and cringe YouTube uh, sell pitch. But they were interviewing me. They were asking me all these, these questions. It was a blockchain job. So it's these very in-depth technical questions to basically trick you into a wrong answer because that's what interviewers do, right? They're always trying to make it so complex and ask you such an in technical information. So you are going, so they're going to trick you into making mistakes. That's something you need to understand. So how do I solve that is basically they said, Anthony, it looks like, you know, everything you, it, 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 it's, you know, everything, but when we ask you to go in depth on a certain topic, it seems that you always try to wiggle yourself out of it. It's, it seems that you cannot give us a complete and detailed answer about that. And I said to them, or two people, and I said, listen, you're right. You're 100% right. And I told them that I'm an expert at a certain topic when I need to be an expert at that topic. And this is a very important technique you need to understand. It's not only an important interviewing technique, it's also an important technique for learning how to, for learning everything in life, not only for engineering, but for, for basically everything. And that guy basically was flabbergasted. He was like, he did, he, he, I think nobody ever told him such an answer. Right? And I told him like, listen, being an expert at a certain point, at a certain topic, at a certain point of time is my biggest superpower. Because in technology, which is an evolving space and a company, which is also an evolving product, you need to be, you need to have the ability to specialize yourself at a certain problem at the time that problem comes, at the time it needs to be solved. There is no need to be an expert at something you don't need at the moment you need it. If you don't need it, <laughs> you know what I mean? For example, I wrote, I basically won a bounty where I implemented a consensus algorithm, where I basically ported or imp yeah, implemented, ported a consensus algorithm in Golang for a blockchain, for the new blockchain. I am not the smartest kid in town. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, right? But I have a superpower of specializing myself in depth on a topic when I need to be. So the time that Bounty came that we needed to implement that consensus algorithm, which I basically was not a specialist in consensus algorithms. I don't know how they worked, man. It was 2018. I was only one year in blockchain. How can I know that? I can't, right? But still, I won the first prize, 50 Ks in the bank account. There are articles on the internet, so it, it's no lie. But that's because I specialized myself at the moment I needed to be a consensus algorithm expert, right? And I did everything and I looked up everything and I learned everything in a focused way, enable to understand completely what is going on and make that thing work, implement that and ship that as an, uh, as a bounty entry, right? And I think that's the biggest superpower you can have in your life. Because a lot of people, if they want to learn something, what they do is they going to read a book or they're going to follow a, some kind of, I don't know, they, they go to school, which is questionable, but you know what I mean, right? They're going to read a book. Let's stay, stick with that. The problem with reading a book is that you are reading something you cannot grasp yet. And you're reading the full book, which basically is that you're going to feed your brain information, so much information about the whole spectrum from A to Z, but you don't even understand the core mechanics of your, of that topic, of that matter. 
So you're going to give your brain so much information and you cannot comprehend it, right? There are people that can, but most of us, we can't. The human brain can just not do that. And it's going to feel like you have studied. It's going to feel like you have absorbed all the information, but you didn't. Because the moment that book is back in the shelf, you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and then you're going to open up your editor and you're going to try to implement what you learned that previous night, you're going to choke because you don't know anymore. That's why I'm basically against reading books for ad, for, for ad hoc things, right? Of course, if you want to learn about the biggest scheme of things, like history or something, okay, you need to read a book because you're basically not being, in, you know what I mean? It, it differs, right? I think you're gonna understand, you completely understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say here, right? Instead of doing that, you need to basically, let's say you want to learn how to write a specific word. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your dictionary and you're going to look up that word, right? Abdominal. You're going to look up abdominal. Oh, this is how you write abdominal. And you're going to write abdominal. And it's fine. You're not going to read the full complete dictionary, right? You're just going to look up that specific word because that's the word you need right now. Maybe you want to learn how uh, electrifying is getting, is getting written, is getting spelled, but you don't need electrifying right now. So why would you look that up? That's a complete waste of time. You know what I mean? Unless you're going to be, a, <laughs> unless you want to be a complete uh, living dictionary, walking dictionary, you need to do that. But that, that's the thing, right? A very important aspect of that. And the cool stuff about learning, be a specialist at a certain topic at the time you need to be one. If you look up abdominal, right, in the dictionary, you're going to see a lot of related words about that, right? You're going to, maybe some dictionary have these, these synonyms that's basically uh, abdominal and then you have the spelling and then you have these, these um, I don't know how you say that, these synonyms and all that stuff. And you're going you're gonna to read that also, an unconsciousness, right? So not only are you going to learn how to write abdominal, you're also going to learn how to, what potential synonyms are going to be. And that's the same thing, right? If you're going to learn how to write a consensus algorithm, which I did, you're going to learn all these different patterns that comes with it, that not basically are directly specialized to consensus algorithm, but they are tied to that, right? Different kinds of transportation, um, different kinds of, uh, communication algorithms and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, that's going to stick in your brain also, right? So you can already see that if you do that technique all the time, at a certain point in your life, you're going to learn, you're going to know a lot of shit, right? You're going to, you're going to learn, you're going to know a lot of stuff because you specialized yourself in all these problems that came at the moment they came. At If you do that 10 years, you're gonna be. You're gonna learn a lot. Are you a smart person? I don't think so. I don't think that I'm a smart person. As in the smart way. If you ask me uh, some some mathematical formula, I'm gonna choke. You know what I mean? Put me behind the supermarket cashier, and I'm gonna choke. Even it sounds like the simplest job in the world, but I, I just can't because I. Yeah, you know. But I'm smart at navigating life. You know what I mean? I'm smart at only doing what I need to do the time I need to do it. You know? So that's the thing. It's a very powerful, powerful technique to learn stuff, but it's also a very powerful technique in interviewing questions because, like I said, they're going to ask you all these, these questions and most of the time you're going to not know the, the exact answer. And then it's a question, then it's basically a decision you need to make, right? Am I going to try to answer it? And have the <laughs> have the possibility that I'm basically going to make a wrong answer, or am I not? Or I'm just going to say that you don't know it. That's basically two wrong answers, right? If you if you're going to make a wrong answer, that's bad. If you're going to say that you don't know it, that's that's even worse. So the best thing you can do is that listen. You could say, well, listen, you're going to try to wriggle yourself around of it. And if they ask you why, then you say, listen. I, I'm a specialist. And you could just say like that. Listen, listen, buddy. Listen, Mark, with all due respect, but I'm a specialist at a certain topic when I need to be one. And that, believe it or not, Mark, but that's, that's, 
that's one of my superpowers. I think, by the way, that is, is actually a superpower that everybody needs to have. Something like that. Hey, I hope this was useful for you. It happened to me and it worked out. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and leave some questions in the comments. And for the people that really want, I have this beautiful Patreon page where I'm sharing all more knowledge, building stuff in Golang, in other languages, uh, doing some mentorship and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.